But first, a foster mother in jail today charged in the deaths of two little girls here in Georgia. Police on our people on our Facebook page questioning if more could have been done to save the twin girls and whether the state needs a better screening process for foster parents. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens going beyond the headline to give us a closer look at these troubling cases. Claudette Foster is charged with second degree murder after Peyton and Raylan Keyes were found dead in a car in Hinesville last month. GBI says the three year old girls died from accidental heat stroke. The temperature that day, 92 degrees. In August, two Henry County foster parents were convicted of murdering a two-year-old girl. Investigators say Layla Daniels suffered devastating injuries while in Jennifer and Joseph Rosenbaum's care. Across the country, there are more than 437,000 kids in foster care. 13,000 are right here in Georgia. A 2017 federal report shows child protective agencies received 4.1 million referrals involving child maltreatment of all kinds. And 1,700 of those cases, the perpetrator was the foster parent. 38 of those cases were right here in Georgia. I think when something happens to a child that isn't legally yours, it's even more devastating because you know, that that's someone else's child. We sat down with foster care advocate and five time foster parent Holly Ballantyne to get her perspective on these recent cases. I think a lot of the things that have happened most recently in the news, I think those are either unfortunate events or errors in judgment that couldn't have necessarily been ruled out in the screening process for, for foster parents. Valentine, a former case manager with a private okay. foster care organization, says despite the number of cases making headlines, the process to become a foster parent is rigorous. We did a 27-hour training um, called impact training where we learned about different reasons children come into foster care, uh, some of the traumas they experience, some of the abuses that they undergo. She says those hours don't include the home screenings, drug tests, FBI background checks and physicals. Valentine says and, private foster um, care organizations that assist DFACs spend even more time dedicated to sifting through potential families. I know in a private agency, a case manager will have 15 children and in um, if they just foster straight through DFACs, a DFACs case manager may have 75 kids on, on their caseload. And Georgia officials say two significant changes they made back in 2016 have greatly helped the state better protect our children. We'll bring you those details coming up next at 6.